Hey there, friendos. New York Six Ranger back at you again here in my living room. Welcome. And this is going to be a bit of a more serious video. So, some of you might be aware, but uh, others might not be. I used to be a Facebooker. Yeah, that's a thing, right? Facebook does have paid content creators just the same as YouTube does. Well, I wouldn't say just the same, but they have a similar content creation program for creators. And I was making content for them for a couple of years. And there was like hiccups here and there, but, you know, I was making it through, right? YouTube also sometimes has complications for creators, but, you know, if you put the effort, you could power through and resolve it, blah, blah, blah. Um, I guess I'll just start at the beginning, right? So it was about two years ago where I first became monetized. So somewhere around August 2022. And it was pretty neat. Um, there's several different layers of monetization YouTube has. I first started out with the performance bonus where I get paid for my posts. So the more engagement like my text posts or my picture posts would get, the more um, I would get paid for it, right? And I started out as a cosplayer. I'm still a cosplayer, but that was mostly what my page was used for. So I'm posting my cosplay photos, and my convention appearances, you know, making yeah, a couple of hundred dollars here and there a month. Then I started ramping up my um, efforts as a content creator on there. And I started posting like my thoughts on pop culture. So I was doing these little bloggy reviews of like retro cartoons and stuff. And my page started doing really well after that, right? It started blowing up. So I started focusing more on that. So I'm posting um, reviews and my thoughts on retro cartoons, modern cartoons, cinema, you know, making memes here and there. And, you know, and going from a couple of hundred dollars a month to maybe to usually hitting about a thousand to thirteen hundred a month. And, you know, just steady growth. I'm earning more and more each month, trying to kind of figure out, you know, what the the algorithm likes, what the audience likes, and just do more of that. And along the way, I started getting other monetizations. I um, hit the threshold so I could get the video monetization. That threshold is like uh, 10,000 followers with like 60,000 minutes views, uh, 60,000 minutes viewed. And I started doing videos. Uh, now that's when I hit like my first little hiccup cause I was doing like uh, cartoon reviews and commentaries on that. And as you know, which happens to a lot of probably your favorite Facebook content creators, sometimes you get like a false, um, copyright claim when you're doing a review. And as you probably already know, reviews are considered fair use. You're allowed to comment on them. You're allowed to use clips, but Facebook same as YouTube uses a kind of AI to sort out whether you're using copyrighted material. So it doesn't really understand the nuance of whether it's a review or not. So to just flag it, but Facebook is much worse with the way that it does it. Cause if it detects that you're using what it calls unoriginal um, content, basically any content that exists anywhere else on the internet, if it exists somewhere else on the internet and their AI detects that it is in the thing that you posted, it'll demonetize your whole page, not just the video, the entire page. And that's wild, right? YouTube doesn't do that to you. Um, no other platform that has a monetization option does that. TikTok doesn't do that. Facebook is the only one that does that. Incredibly disgusting, but there's really no one to talk to, no one to give feedback to. So you just got to kind of deal with it. Right. So, um, it was really hard to figure out cause they also don't tell you what video it is or what piece of content it is that, got flagged, it'll just tell you your page was um, flagged by our AI 
for having unoriginal content in it, which you have no idea what could set off the, the content bot because in the terms and condition, plus when you get the flag, it'll tell you limited um, originality or whatever. Uh, you you Your page was detected as having content that you didn't um, add any meaningful changes to, right? So if you are doing commentary and review content and you get that, um, hit, you have no idea what you're being flagged for because you could have like dozens of videos up for like months that you were doing with reviews that you could be thinking to yourself, well, this was good. So it might not, so it must not be that that got flagged, but that's not true, right? Um, it could be anything. So the only thing that the only recourse you really have to be sure, sure is you have to delete everything on the page. And, um, because you don't know what it is that set off the AI and then request a review. But here's the thing about that, right? Not only do they use the AI to sort of flag the page to see if it's, um, done anything that goes against their, um, monetization rules or whatever, they also use an AI to determine whether you are following the rules again to re-monetize the page. So it's not like if you delete the offending content, you'll automatically be re-monetized. No, you got to wait for the AI to scan your page again. And there's really no way to trigger that, right? They give you like a little button that you can click to say request a review. But if you do, you hit the request a review and it does the little, the scan that they say it does. And it doesn't, you know, and it still scans as you being non-compliant or whatever. You won't be able to click that review button again uh, for, I don't know how long, right? There's no like definitive time. So you don't know if it's a month, if it's three months, if it's a year, there's no way of knowing. They don't give, they don't say anything to you. They give you no know, feedback of how often you can request a review of your page, Right. Because it's like, you know, you think, all right, delete this thing, ask for a review, see if you're compliant. Okay, I'm not. Delete this other thing, re request a review, see if I'm compliant now, right? That's what any normal person would think in their head to do. Just like keep trying until eventually you're compliant, but you can't. You cannot keep trying. So you really have to make sure that you get it the first time, which is why I said earlier what you want to do is delete everything on your page and then request a review, right? So you're beginning to see how insane this is, right? But whatever, at least if you become demonetized, um, any money that you would have earned, you're going to get paid for in the meantime. Meaning like, say you uh, got demonetized in the middle of March, right? Um, you're still going to earn any money that you made in February, right? They'll still send you your, your check uh, for February's work, even though your page became demonetized in March, because of course they would, right? You've already earned that money. That's work you've already done. You know, same thing like, you know, with YouTube and the rest, right? Um, if they owe you money, they'll, they'll, they'll send you the check that they owe you. Now, fast forward to most recently, right? Around, I would say, April-ish, May-ish, um, I started doing really well on my page. You know, I've gotten a really good hang of what the audience and the algorithm likes. So I'm working a lot harder and I'm posting about 15 times a day on my page. 15 times a day. Um, writing reviews and thoughts of retro cartoon series, actors, movies, you name it. I'm putting in that work. I am grinding. And my page makes $18,000 in May. Wow. I'm flabbergasted. I've never gotten a check that big in my life. It was life-changing money. I was able to pay off all my debts. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all I was able to do with it. But, but that's good, right? I was able to pay off all my debts that I had, you know, my student loans are gone, my credit cards, you know, I had some moving expenses from when I moved into the apartment, you know, I was financing my mattress and nonsense like that, whatever. Point is, all my debts are cleared with that big check. That's really exciting. You know, um, 
my next check, uh, not as big, but it was a seven thousand dollar check. Um, and then, um, that was May. Yeah, that was June, right? So another decent amount of money. So I'm like, okay, I've got the hang of this. I'm doing this. I could be a full time creator now. I'm like, you know, uh, Facebook is not as uh, a respectable platform as YouTube is, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's a content creator job and they're paying me reliably. You know, Facebook has been, even though it hasn't been like perfect, they've been paying me reliably for two years, you know, and now I'm making really decent money with them. So this is, this is good. You know, I've been doing this for two years. It's been reliable, I think I can go full-time content creator. So that's what I've, I did. I went full-time content creation. Um, Cause you know, if I'm reliably making $7,000 a month, that's about as much as I was making that. Uh, actually that's more than I, <laughs> that's a decent more than I was making at my, my day job. Um, and it's enough to live decently in New York city, right? It's not enough to be rich, but it's enough to, you know, pay, pay, pay rent, pay bills. You can live on, you can live on $7,000 a month in New York. That's what I'm saying. You can live on that. Um, which is what I wanted to do. I wanted to live on that. Um, but then, you know, July, I see, boom, I'm about to make another 7,000. And I do, I make about 7,600. Um, and then in August, Around the middle of August, I get demonetized. Um, they don't tell me why. So, you know, I do my usual thing, trying to figure out why I'm demonetized or whatever. And they don't re-monetize me. Um, so, you know, I'm going back and forth with the customer service. Like, hey, I can't even request a review. Um, you know, I've been false flagged for the demonetization. You, they they haven't told me why I was demonetized, right? They haven't given me any reason. Um, I mean, not a specific one. All it is is the generic, we've detected unoriginal content, right? Um, and I have no idea why, because again, all my stuff is reviews, it's commentary, it's within fair use, it's within the um, monetization um, terms and conditions that they themselves set because it is, again, commentary reviews, um, stuff that's transformative that I'm adding to, blah, blah, blah. You, you know, you know how it is. You're, you're watching videos on YouTube. You know what the rules are. Um, and it's the same over there. So, uh, now usually, like I said before, if you're demonetized, but you had a check coming from before when you were monetized, you're still going to get your check. All being demonetized does is prevents you from earning any money in the future. They do not send me my check in August. Um, and like I said, I was demonetized in the middle of August. I had already earned about um, $5,600 um, by August 14th when I was demonetized. So September rolls around and they still don't send me my 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 check. So that's two checks, one for 76 and one for 56. So now they owe me $13,000. Um, and that's where I am today. And that is why I'm migrating over to YouTube. So yeah, and, it, it, and I'm not the only one this has happened to. Apparently this is a big problem with content creators when they start earning reliable money and consistent money uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook just decides to stop paying them arbitrarily and they just tell them they broke a rule, but they don't tell them what piece of content broke the rule and what way they broke the rule or what rule specifically they broke or how they broke it. They just vaguely say, Hey, you broke a rule, so we're not going to pay you. Even though they're still supposed to pay them the money that they owed them. I mean, if they decided to stop paying me going forward, that would be annoying, but um, it's kind of whatever, you know, it's kind of like 
your employer is allowed to fire you for whatever reason, even if it's not a good reason, right? But they still got to send you your last check. And that's all I really care about. Send me my last check, even if you're going to fire me. You know what I mean? You owe me the money. Just pay me the money you owe me. And then we could be done, you know, wipe our hands with each other, of each other and just separate our professional relationship. But yeah, your boy Mark, he owes me $13,000. Um, I would really love it if I could get that. It is, I'm not the only one affected by this issue. This is a widespread issue from Facebook creators. Uh, and it's especially annoying because there's like a bunch of those like really gross AI pages that are just farming engagement and farming and, and they're allowed to just run rampant and drum up thousands of dollars. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen it, right? Those weird AI pages where it's like Jesus with 20 fingers on a single hand, uh, saving some troops from uh, a, a helicopter or whatever. And it's got like hundreds of thousands of likes and just spam comments of amen, 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 amen. Yeah, those pages are allowed to run rampant and they're making and they're getting paid. But, you know, the real human pages with people trying to work are the ones that are being demonetized and having, um, you know, money taken out of their mouths. And I was just trying to find a way to do something I loved and feed my family while doing it. And it really breaks my heart that when I was, you know, finally feeling some level of financial security, my employer kind of just, um, you know, took the, pulled the rug out from under me. And that just really sucks. And it hurts. Like, the amount of emotional and mental stress I've been under since that happened is wild. Like, it's a good thing that I don't have like a really expensive lifestyle, right? It's not like I got that $18,000 check and started buying Bugattis or whatnot. So I still have a bit of money to get me through a little bit. That's why I've been trying to make the transition to YouTube, you know, before my money that I saved up completely runs out. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm trying to make this transition to YouTube. Um, I would appreciate it if you like, share, and comment. So that way, one, it'll help my channel grow so I could hopefully feed myself with my new channel. Um, but also so I could kind of so we could kind of signal boost this issue that's been affecting a bunch of Facebook creators. I know nobody really cares about Facebook as a as a platform, but there are people doing trying to do genuinely good work on there. Um, they're trying their best, but really not being supported by the platform itself. So if we could get any eyes on this issue, I would really appreciate it. And yeah, that's my piece. And I hope I was able to speak well and articulate it um, well for you YouTube folks. So that way you know how creators are being abused over there on Facebook. So thank you for listening. I hope you stood to the end of the video. See you on the next one.